So you go through a time when you go through Porsche It's part of the fabric of San Francisco. It's, a, it's an SF institution, is what they call it. My name is uh, Michael Musleh, and uh, the owner of uh, Pork Store Cafe. It was a hairdresser place, it was a triple coin cafe in the early 60s. Rafi's Middle Eastern in the 70s, and then 79, the Pork Store born again. So in 1979, when they pulled off the wooden boards from the top of the door, they found the stained glass at the Pork Store from the 20s. And that's how the name was born again in 79 as a breakfast place. So when the family took over this place in the 80s, my aunt, her name is Nadia, she was a breakfast cook. She came over here and transformed this place into what it is. She was the heart and soul of the place. She was the, the, the cook that, that everybody loved and feared at the same time. We carry her legacy here, you know, with an idea of scramble still in the menu. She came up with that. Back then, you wouldn't be able to tell what's in it. She'd say, what's in it is what's in it. Do you want it or not? <laughs> you take your chances. One time, um, my aunt, she had to leave town. There was a regular customer. She goes, I'm leaving for a week and you're cooking. He goes, I never cook breakfast. She goes, you will tomorrow. But he went and cooked for her for a whole week. That's the kind of relationship she had with the people. So I came here and I trusted I could know how to cook. You know, and I learned it and I handled it for five years. You know, it was kind of a risk because my aunt was a phenomenal, famous cook. And I'm, I'm nobody. The enjoyable thing about working here is that your customers become part of your family, the extended family. So most of the people that come and sit in the, in the counter, they're complete regulars. Uh, this is my aunt. She wanted to put the pigs on the wall, so she had a, she's very random. And then she, put, she had an artist that said, I'll put these here for you, so just go ahead. And he did it here. And then people sometimes leave them at the front door after, inside the gate and with notes that says, please adopt me. So they leave little piglets inside the gate asking us to adopt them. So we keep them and we put them everywhere. The sheriff was adoption. He's watching over us over there. Uh, cooking here is like, uh, is like a perfect dance because there's no lost motion between the people walking behind you and the food being flipped upside down and the place busy and crowded. It always comes out in harmony at the same time. And then we keep it simple, keep it real here.